Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how the live scoring feature works in Golf League Tracker. Uh, the basic flow is first the league administrator turns on live scoring for the round, then the players will log into the website through the browser on their phone, choose who they are keeping score for, and score the round. Third, the league administrator turns off live scoring once the round is complete. Once the scores are entered, the league administrator will confirm the scores and record the points. So before I begin, I highly recommend that your players still keep a paper scorecard as the official score, so that the league administrator will have something to compare the entered scores to, or fill in scores if a player misses a hole. So to begin, I've logged into my test league as administrator, and I've navigated to administration and weekly admin. I'm going to enable live scoring for the next round by clicking on Enable Disable Player Live Score Entry. And live scoring is currently disabled, which is displayed here. And in the drop down, you can choose the next available round for your live scoring. Golf League Tracker does not allow you to skip ahead when entering scores, so you'll generally see only one available date in this drop down. So here I'm going to choose round number one and the system confirms that um, I've been enabled for live scoring, and I'll hit OK. Now this will present you two new options to the administrator. One is to enter scores, so if you were scoring for yourself, you could then go and click on enter scores and begin, and the other is to view the live leaderboard. Now you or your players can also get to the live leaderboard under the stats section, and you'll now see a new option that says live leaderboard displayed here. So for now, my job as league administrator is done. I've simply enabled live scoring for a specific round. Now I'm gonna log in as a player on my phone through the web browser and show you what they'll see and how to score the round. 